<laughs> you two with its me, Zipster. Wow, what a strange thing happened to me today, okay? So I get up, and it's a perfectly, I mean, spectacularly beautiful day here. Uh, high 70s, no humidity, little bit of breeze in the air, cicadas kind of making that sound in the background. Beautiful day. So I'm like, great, I can finally get out of this damn house. So I took my laptop, packed her all up to go out and hang out on the deck for the day, okay? So I get out there, and on my deck, one thing I'm going to have to take you on a little tour of my deck so you know what the hell I'm talking about, because I'm always talking about it or I'm sitting there, but nobody knows what the hell it looks like. Anyway, there's a big table in the middle of the deck where I hang, right under a gazebo, whatever. And the only thing on the table is this um, uh, candle holdery kind of centerpiece thing. Okay, that's the only thing on the table. Plop down my laptop, plug her in, charge her up, you know, whatever the hell, boot her up. And then, you know, during the course of the day, I would come in and get a soda, come in and get a glass of ice water, come in and make myself a sandwich, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, as per usual, by the end of the day, the table's all cluttered with all my crap that I don't ever bother taking in with me when I go in because I'm a lazy procrastinator. Whatever. So, uh, it starts getting a little chilly and I decide I'm going to pack up and go back inside. So, I collected out my, uh, my dirty dishes and stuff. I took them in the kitchen and put them in the sink and um, I go back and I close up my laptop and start packing up and um, all of a sudden I see this piece of paper laying in the middle of the table. I'm like, what What the hell? And it's like an old post-it note. It's all crinkly and wrecked and there's little holes in it and all that stuff. And I pick it up and I'm like, where the hell did this come from? And I turn it around. I turn it around. And it's a note from Tim. Um, I, I, as soon as I saw the first word, I recognized his handwriting. And a chill just went down my spine. I'm like, whoa. And the note says, I must run. Should be home between 12 and 1. Love you, Tim. So this is obviously a note that at some point in time he had stuck on the refrigerator because he had to leave for work or, or whatever. But um, I just... I couldn't figure out where it could have come from, so I asked Moe's, I'm like, Moe's, did you find a piece of paper and lay it on the table? And she's like, no. So anyway, uh, you know, like I told you guys before, he does this kind of stuff every once in a while, and, um, um, and it makes me really happy, but it makes me really sad, too. Um, I, I mean, um, he had to put it there, however those ghost people do that stuff. I mean, there's just, this is like at least four and a half years old, this piece of paper. I can't imagine where it came from. He must have found it somewhere and set it on the table so that I do. Then he, <laughs> then he was still thinking about me. The crazy stuff is there's some, uh, there's some kind of nutty stuff going on in my life right now that you'll find out about a little bit later. But I think he's just letting me know that everything's okay. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. I, I knew I would, but I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Okay, well, you know how I am. All right, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.